Oh, uh, um, keep. Mm. What's up? Huh. The problem you is keep like. I you keep trying to co-op my tracks for other things that aren't the thing I'm making. <laughs> I kind of need this line to... Um, I, I kind of need this line to, to move the plastic. Because the alternative sucks. Uh, like the location I put this track? Yeah, like that. that is, that is my plastic track. And we're going to set up blue science over here. The, I can move it up here. I get an underground track. Well, a few of those. It's mainly I just got to figure out how to take the plastic out, but your copper is now in a weird. Well, smart inserters don't care what side stuff's on. Uh, it's it's not the side I'm looking for. It's I need to get it across your copper track that you just threw down. Yeah, well, like I'm. That's why I'm saying I need underground things. Is because I'm moving that. Uh, okay. Oh, I see what you're gonna do. Okay, that makes that helps. A I'm just lot. gonna put it up here instead. That's my solution, but underground okay, tracks are time-consuming to craft sometimes. Here, there's two of them. Have fun. Oh, oh shit! Hi. Attack. It's a tarp. Okay, we probably want to throw down some more defenses, too. Or move these, actually, now that we're... Or just man up. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> uh... There we go, now it's feeding in an alternate direction. Okay. We got our solar panels. There we go, now I can start getting my plastic out. Because we're probably going to want to extend... At, um, actually, you know what? What? No, hold on. Uh, blue science requires steel, right? Um, let's check. Battery okay. advanced circuit smart inserter steel. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to wow, do is... Wow, I forgot everything and that sucks. <laughs> so what we're going to do everything is actually... Everything that process is, uh, is awful. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna divert your, uh, your, pl this plastic steel, so this is actually, this is fine. Yeah? We're just dumb. There we go. So now I can start diverting oh, this to blue next? science. Though we need, um, do we need the, uh, the next level of assembler? No, never mind. Assembly machine 3 will do this. Okay. Whoa, so... what's going on? What is, what going on? So I'm opening my, uh... Oh, never mind, I'm just an idiot. I was clicking on the wrong stuff altogether. I was, oh. I was sitting here trying to figure out why I can't open my, uh... Why I couldn't research things. Oops, that was the wrong one. That one requires blue. I just keep picking new things for us to research. So I'm kind of, I've been kind of controlling that for a while now. I see. And, uh... I just got really baffled by something because I just forgot how things work. <laughs> I was looking at all the stuff I can't build yet. I'm like, why isn't there a research button? I'm confused. But no, that was because I can't okay. research those things. Keith, the obnoxious I'm... part is I'm actually going to need your... Um... Now what, Wander? Now we how need... are you ruining my dreams? We need... Oh my god, we we've, need... made, we've made 48 actuators already. We need circuits, too. And... Uh, I wonder if I should stop copper this. Copper wire. Cancel. I'm, I'm canceling our, our actuator. Our, uh, what are they called? I'm canceling our, our accumulator project now, because I built 50. I'm turning that machine off because um, that's too many. <laughs> we okay, don't need more now. So Keith, we need to extract our copper wire out and circuits out of here and continue them along where the steel and the plastics are. Do you, do you see make, what I'm talking you're about? To make, you're trying to make this copper path keep going? No, this here? copper, this copper wire and circuits, they're fine. Though we're probably going to need to make more, um, but they need to keep going oh, yeah. out here, um, over here somewhere. You need the copper wire and circuits to come out here. Yeah. Together. Yes. While also still feeding the per the greens. Yes. That's not too hard. I mean, splitters often cause, uh, fix some of those problems. Yeah. One thing I- oh my goodness! Oh, oh sweet Jesus. Um, we're gonna wanna make some- move those guns a bit. Yeah, we are. Here, I'll take- Let's I'll move take these it back guns. too. Go over here now. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is no, a problem. We're attacked. No! There we go, got him. That was bad, okay. that was the box of, uh, solar panels. If they destroy that, lose... does that go on the ground, or...? I don't know. 
Don't really want to test it. Okay, that, that seems fair. Uh, you want to get the next gun down? Where? You should have. You should have another gun in your inventory. Oh wait, no. That's what I thought. You didn't pick Let it up. Oh, did I, I pick it up? I got two guns. You got one, and you're like, all right, okay, good enough. I think I think I got distracted by the attack or something. Yep. I don't know. It's my baby. You don't understand. It's my baby. Your baby is I... dumb, and I still hate it. <laughs> people hate dumb really, baby. people really liked that line from the first episode. I was like, why are people talking about me hating babies? Oh, ah, found it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so destroyed boxes, apparently the resources are just gone. Yeah, that'd be bad. This Let's game avoid is that mean. <laughs> so... Just gets off on it. So what pisses me off is, now that Bird's gone, I feel guilty about playing without him, but I also don't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that does make... It does kind of make a Satan, just so we're clear. Yeah. We're being, we're being bad people right now. And yet... Can't stop. And yet we're not stopped still. <laughs> yeah. How right. about that shit? <laughs> I'm gonna increase our, um... Our circuit and our copper wire production, because we're starting to burn that down a little bit. Yeah? I'm just gonna throw down blue boxes instead of gray ones. You're gonna have to keep an eye on the power grid, because I have no idea how it works. And... I'd hate to yeah, bankrupt I mean, the process of trying power. to increase our power in general. With solar, yep, yeah, makes sense. So what part of our power do you not understand? All of it. You guys never explained that you to me. You did it without me, so I don't know how to check how much power we have or anything like so that. You, what, you check our power by clicking on any of the power uh, power poles that are attached to the circuit. Oh, I see. And so if it's full green, no big deal. If, if consumption is maxed out, which it basically is, that that's how much is... Uh, Actually, it's a little hard to explain what that means, but basically, if production is not full, that means that we're not using all of our power, and we're not at peak. If production gets gets capped out, you'll see consumption go down, because the whole system's fucked. <laughs> you can also- okay. Oh god, we're being attacked. From How'd where? They here? Oh shit, it's going after a refinery. I don't know, they've been doing they that. They ran all the way to me from here, that was weird. Well, they're, but, they're uh, like, getting inside a refinery line. The interesting thing is, from the screen, you can see what's creating our power and what's spending our power at any given moment, and okay. what the biggest consumers and producers are on this on this graph. So obviously, their biggest producer of power is steam engines, because we have our only solar panels in the circuit right now are the two random ones that Bird randomly crapped out on that by the uh, the track on the up in the north. Those are kind of randomly located ones. Okay, I, th I think for the circuit and the copper wire, by the way, I'm just going to make more factories to produce more instead of trying to feed off of our already cramped location. Yeah. Seems like a good idea, because we got a bunch of, um, we got a bunch of, we have more copper and whatnot. Actually... There we go. So now if you look at our power, I just hooked up the solar. And look how much we got already from just a few solar panels. It's actually a surprisingly big chunk. Actually, I actually going down right. I actually never got to the the screen that shows me all the all of the power. Oh, you, you just I, left click on any electric pole. Uh, it gives oh, you a big read. There we go. I see it now and we're under attack. So as long as the middle of those three green uh of those three meters on the top of the screen, as long as the middle one doesn't max out, we're good. Okay, uh... And uh, as you can, if you look, and if you see it, you can actually physically watch our solar panels lose their effectiveness in real time right now, because we don't have, uh, the, sun, the sun's going down. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um... Here. So what are all the base components we need? We need copper, iron, plastic, and steel for blue science overall and batteries more or less Jesus Christ yeah I'm just gonna set up a new new system here this is awful yep go to the thing with uh, these games generally is that every time you take another step through the process of, of progressing through it uh, you have to start, you realize you have to rip up everything you've made that wasn't made with that in mind. 
then repeat. It's, it's which is definitely... why it's why Bird has PTSD about uh, oil related stuff because oil is the thing you start making that ruins everything you made before then. Yeah, I'm seeing that. There we go. Give it a little bit of space to work with. I love the accumulators because the they just they make just the creepiest like lightning sound the whole all night long. Oh, I haven't, I've powered. I've really been paying attention to the sound effects in this game. I think I have them turned down a little bit low. Well, I, I literally just placed them for the first time in our world. They're a new component for us. <laughs> they're, they're just freaky because they just sound dangerous nearby. Every now and then, I'll when I was in my, when I was playing alone, I would sometimes think whenever my base was under attack. Because it just sounds like some kind of weird energy attack is happening in my base. Oh, God. Here the amount go. of splitters we have coming off this line just makes me feel bad. We definitely need to play TTD after this, though. Because, <laughs> like, this is... This is, like, TTD, but with, like, a completely different design mentality. And it's... Yeah. Freaky. Okay, where are batteries being produced? I mean, there's Down a here? lot of base building and production management simulators, basically, out there. So what are... What's this making? Create some redundant connections so uh, we can break it. Keith, do you know what the battery... Uh, the battery and iron plates are being fed into for here? Like, there's a reason for this. Um, I don't know what it is. The battery... That was the accumulator. Created oh, okay. When I turned off because we had so many. Uh, can I get rid of it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just the, it's just a building at the end of our battery thing now. There we go. We actually have a pretty good amount of power coming from our solar panels right now. Like, I'm you you can see their production right... Their, you can see their production right now if you click on a pole since it's daylight again. Yep. That's actually, that was just the first batch. There's a chest of them waiting for me at this point, or there should be. I'm taking your word for it for a bit. I'm, I'm focused on cleaning up the battery line because... I know. We don't, we don't, we don't share excitement. <laughs> your, your power, I, I will, I will admit My power your power... fantasy? <laughs> your, your power grid is uh, a little bit more understandable in terms of... Uh... Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um. What have you, what's happening now? Something else under attack? Uh, I just did a dumb... And I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Eh, sweep it under the rug, let Bird notice it, and then get blamed for it. Well, I, I destroyed our <laughs> battery... Our battery production, and I have no idea how you guys got iron to this, because it's a nightmare, and... You know what? Fuck it. This will be. That's a that's a, a healthy response. Sometimes this will be easier. Just, just fuck it. <laughs> Here's what we're uh, gonna what do. Are we trying to, what are we trying to get to the batteries? Y you're gonna see this, and it's gonna be. This is gross. I already hate <laughs> myself. What have you done? The... I, I've I've solved a lot of my problems here. Oh, did you run out of iron for the battery producer? Yeah, so now I'm just shitting the iron down both lines. Weird. This oh, actually I what was happening here. This it was actually a smart works. Inserter. Did you break my smart inserter again? Yeah, it's okay. This I works. I break my smart inserter. Shut up. This works perfectly. But the other one was so clean. No, this is pretty clean too. When Wonder. you're looking at no, 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 no. Stop. Bring... Stop. Stop. This is bring perfect. Bring back the smart inserter. I don't just need. Bring it back. I don't need. To. Bring, we don't just need it. Just put it down right there. It's and done. You can feed the iron through. Alternatively, no, you, can undo, you can undo your nightmare. It doesn't but have I to need, exist anymore. No, 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 no. That's the thing. I need okay. this nightmare. This nightmare helps. Okay, Wander. You don't need to live in shame anymore. My shame is not. There's no shame. I don't have shame bones. They don't exist in my shame body. Bones. Yeah, if those were the only bones that humans had, I'd be all jelly like. <laughs> Which would be hilarious. <laughs> Where did that sentence come from? All of the places. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> what the hell? Wander, seriously, look at our production. It's so good. Uh, oh, wait. Is it, is it going down? Is it already? Is it already, the sun already going down? Yeah, Stop it, it is. Sun. 
literally tell the time of day sometimes by our power consumption because there's you'll see our solar panels go down uh which one yeah, are my solar, solar my solar farm's actually Gosh. already giving competitive competition to our steam engines yeah i'm noticing that's cool they're just so easy to manage okay. and that nightmare grid of accumulators is where all the power goes when the uh sun goes down yeah, or, 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 or okay. markedly it's where all the excess power goes all day and where the power comes from when the there's no power coming from our panels so we need that's the whole reason we did refining well that's a lot of the reason we did the refining ah oh, you guys did the abraded pipe all the way across to, from the other the other oils I just I like I like to use the uh I like to use the canning system even if I don't have to. Where are those guys going? They're they're invading again. What the, what the hell? Oh shit! They broke stuff. What yeah. They break. Uh, like some tracks or something. Oh, okay, that's uh, not so bad. They seriously run past your entire oil system just to attack stuff up here. You wanna? Mm... I'm gonna put some turrets down at this point around here. We apparently can't block them from coming in. Unless I want to make a giant wall. So I'm just going to go def put defenses by our wall, our, uh, our coal again. I thought we put them back already. Oh, right. I moved them south because I thought I could block the where they were coming from, but they just started taking in a, an even weirder path. Enemy AI is bizarre in this game. It is a bit nuts. Oh, yeah. One of my... I, I just remember one of my favorite things about the logistics robots, uh, Wander... We get a toolbar that is garbage. It's like our it's like our garbage bin. So that when you have all that random nonsense you've accidentally picked up, like when you have like one stray battery and one stray yeah. iron stick, like I have right now, and one sulfur, you put them in the garbage slot, and your sul and your uh, your logic robots will basically pick it up and take it to where somewhere where it'll actually get used. Oh. Without you having to like figure, without you having to waste time relocating one object. That's freaking slick. There's really cool little uh, tricks there. Where they just slowly remove all the things that have been annoying you for the last five hours. <laughs> okay. So we need... There we go. We have gun turrets set up at that nightmare location that they, kept sneak they keep sneaking through for. That... What a strange AI, AI moment. Alright. I need so much copper wire. It. This is stupid. What's stupid in this case? The amount of copper wire we need. Oh, yeah. Um, this should solve the uh, output. Because, yeah, what we need is... Uh, I, ne I need copper wire to make circuits and to make um, advanced circuits. Uh, is that the only thing we need plastic for, actually? So Could plastic be. is only useful for circuits, looks like. Um, there might be other stuff. It might be used for something related to robots or so on and so forth. There's a there's a lot of weird, non like just things we're not dealing with right now mm. that could come up later. Every time I think something only has one use, it I'm no I'm usually wrong, so I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> gonna assume that it's wrong again. <laughs> okay, and science is also smart inserters. Smart inserters are fat. Oh fuck! I need to make. Oh, God. Why is <laughs> blue science... You know, at this point, I just have a half a mind to just make, like, the indomitable fortress city and sit here mass-producing blue science overnight. Just give in. <laughs> uh, half and wander. <laughs> I don't wanna. Except your nightmare overlords. Ugh, oh, God. So I, I've got to more or less somehow reroute our... my inserter line... To make uh, now, I know what now I know why people were watching me play this game in the first place because it's really amusing to watch you figure this shit out again. <laughs> like a weird shot on Freud. Fucking yeah. yeah. We've actually I think we've had you do all of science from beginning to end and all of oil, this which is no small thing. Nope. Me and Bird are basically just constantly working in the background to scale up stuff so that we always have resources and everything. Okay. Uh, no. What's up? Just trying to figure out how to get my goddamn inserter arms down, but I think I'm just going to ignore them and just make my own inserter 
arm line along this, like, fucking atrocious thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a giant line that makes shit. <laughs> Why that's, not? That's just going to be... If it's, it's, if it's a bad idea, it'll be fun to watch you find out why. <laughs> I No, this'll work. I mean, honestly, my, my basic setup here for how to make any of Blue Science is to make the, like, most ungodly long lineup of things, because they all feed into each other repeatedly, which is helpful. Yeah. But at the same time, it's also pissant and frustrating. I'm just working on a redundant power systems because I'm tired of those situations where one cable gets cut and our entire thing goes down. <laughs> I, I, I set up a lot of, like, circular systems so that if any one part gets broken, it actually has zero impact on our overall production. Wow, we're making three megawatts. Yeah, we're doing three megawatts of power on a uh, on light now. That's the but the good thing about that is that's totally coal independent. That comes good. in handy. Although we're having no trouble feeding our uh, we're having zero trouble feeding our steam engines right now. They're all they're all going strong, but they're just an awkward clunky system that has to be by water and has to be connected by pipes and has to be fed by fuel constantly. Whereas the uh, solar panels, you just have to have them on the same circuit as as accumulators, and the whole thing kind of works out. So Bird will come back to see that and be like, "You did that without me." <laughs> nah, he, he probably doesn't give a shit about the the solar farm. No. Oh, cool, that's out of the way. <laughs> so I don't really have much of a choice on this one. Okay. Uh. Well, the good news is we're not even slightly at risk of being out of power for a very long time now. Well, the nice thing is, by the time I'm done with this, we're actually going to have a thing that uh, produces fast inserters for us, which will actually be helpful. Yeah, because we constantly want those. Yes. And it's actually it's actually good you have this giant open desert area to work with, because everything about Blue Science takes up an, an ungodly amount of space just to build everything. That said, we should probably stop soon before you have like blue before like bird just comes back to blue science being completed. I mean, so the thing is, he's not gonna touch it though. Like he's not gonna. But, he's, he has but, no... he, is, but he is recording it. I don't want to stop. I know, but he's doing a series two, and we can't just skip five steps ahead in progress. We could just come back we could just hand town. him the episodes, just be like, here, bird. <laughs> Horrible. You know what you're you know what to do. I know. You're you're a bad person, Wanderbot. You're That's still the here That's and been recording the theme of tonight's stream. <laughs> I look. Bad is subjective. Selfish. I'm not nope. gonna disagree with that. No 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 no. It being the theme is not subjective. <laughs> it's definitely been the theme of our conversation all night. <laughs> I feel bad, but I'm not stopping. It's been like your your go-to sentence tonight. <laughs> Even more circuits and cut and uh yeah, just made more. Well, you don't have to worry about them fighting over their outputs at least. Yeah, for the, the other time one. being. Okay. So... Well, I mean, so... like these, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, different sciences fighting for different outputs of circuits and wires because you okay. made a separate output first instead. So now I need something that take. Oh fuck! I need gear wheels. <laughs> okay, you know what? I know Let's, how to do it. We, we need to stop, Wonder. We need to stop. I know. I know. You're, you're never going to stop. <laughs> can't Go over, Wonder. We have to wait until like stop. literally Won't. tomorrow night, probably. <laughs> Won't stop. I know. I know. <laughs> it still hurts. Because part of the problem is I don't want to, like, break my thought process here, if that makes sense. Like, I've got... Just just, just draw draw out your progress tree and then circle all the things that are finished. Because <laughs> uh... these, these are literally a tech tree, like you're, like you're playing Civ. Yeah. No, it's true. Let me just... Let me get the gear <laughs> wheels going. Then we'll stop. Just let for me reals. build for, like, another half an hour. <laughs> Mommy, I don't want to stop yet. Don't take away my Game Boy, Mommy. It's only like <laughs> two in the morning. Okay. I'm almost done. Oh, I just noticed the chat was actually asking for my goose story I never told. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Okay, you but tell it while I finish this shit. Completely forget it, and then then people ask for it in the chat. That was just on the goose topic, but the uh, we were at the uh, we were at a place called Rockville Park that is like this uh, like one of those like open nature parks, like with like hills and rocks and tr like nature trails and shit. And it, there's a there's a like a duck pond, and my brother wanted, was being old tough guy teenager and uh, tried to charge some geese. But they stood their ground and fanned out their 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 uh, their wings and hissed at him and everything. And he actually like back he actually cowered out and he uh, he tried to turn around in the last second, but he uh, he ended up sliding like ten feet on his ass through the mud because he couldn't <laughs> physically stop his run. Geese are nasty <laughs> fuckers. You don't mess with them. Yeah. For a, like, full um, grown, for a full grown adult, I don't think they're actually particularly like. I don't think they're uh, that dangerous, but they're they not afraid. They can injure you. So, like, the thing the is, biggest most thing geese... is that they're just not afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, most geese just bite, which hurts a lot. Uh, it's their pecs that yeah. are actually problematic. Um, swans are worse. That's it. Uh, a swan it's, can break that's your it. arm. It's, it's like the it's like the plinket like Jedi problem with the guy with the long neck and the lightsaber. like I know what I'd swing at. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, they're still big, dumb, long neck jackasses. <laughs> this is true. Okay. Well, now I think I'm good to go. Save Yay! Again. We did good things. Look at all this progress. Look at this nightmare network of stuff where you have to like look at it and stare at it for a while to figure out what you were even doing with some. <laughs> That's of <it>. why I <laughs> didn't want to stop. Yeah. There's so many. Pro there's so many steps here. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it, though. This actually is probably going to be one of the easiest lines to deal with. Like, blue might be easier now. Oh, geese can also break arms. Good to know. Good so to you know. you break them. 